Yeah, I play with goat tits. Hello? I was getting kicked in the face Wait, on Saturday. You get paid for that? That's yeah, just a I hobby of mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hobby. Yeah, I have like. Brianna view. Yeah. What Brianna sees. Everything. You see everything. You see London, you see friends. You see Alan's underpants. Where's Alan? Oh, you can't see it. I don't even know where he is. Over there. I saw him earlier today. You did? Okay. The Alan. All right, so this is their speech. Be quiet and respectful. All right, so today we're going to teach you guys how to pitch a softball. How to pitch, how to put on catcher's gear, and just some basic knowledge that you guys should know, have. So, um, first, we're going to start with the catcher's knee pads. That's what one looks like. And when you put them on, you want all the buckles to clip on the outside of your leg. Um, it's suggested if you start with um, either the top or bottom and then work your way down because if you do it like Brooke and start in the middle and then skip around then you're probably going to either forget one or just like um, mess them up and you need to pop because I can't. <laughs> you have it. Um, I'm just going to put one on because I think they take too long to put on and it's a wiffle ball, it's not going to kill me. This too, just kind of to show you because I don't really need it, whatever. And it's a little so, the straps you just go through one and then the little U, pop your head through and then buckle on the side. And it is for junior so it's a little small, but that's okay. And then... Um, this is what a catcher's club looks like. It's a lot more padded and rounder than a fielding glove, which is a little more, it's bigger. Yeah. Um, you don't need to, but batting gloves, um, underneath, um, catcher's gloves or fielding gloves helps you just have more grip and it really, um, keeps it in place. So there is 43 feet between the pitcher's mound and the uh, home plate. Um, today we only have 20 because we don't have enough room. <laughs> and it's a wiffle ball. We don't know if we'd really make it all the way. So you guys have a, here's your pitching mound. You guys have a 12 foot circle, six foot radius. It's not that piece of tape. And how you hold a softball, you take your three fingers you put it like this, then your pinky and your thumb just sit comfortably around. I'm not going to pitch this because we're inside. Should kill me? <laughs> um, so then what you do is when you have your glove on, you want your feet staggered and about shoulder width apart. <laughs> and once you have your grip on your ball, you're going to lean backwards and your arm's going to come this way. And then as you bring your arm forward, keep it pointing straight. And you want up, and as you do it, go like that. You want your leg to stay. So when you do this, you keep your hips facing forward at all times. Like that. Oh my God. It's a good thing you do. If you step outside the circle, it's an illegal pitch. You get in trouble for it. It's counted on the batter as a ball. So then you want shoulder width apart. Get your grip, and then you have to present the ball to the umpire before you pitch. And you're going to lean backwards, bring your arm back, step forward, and take a step. So in one motion, it'll look like this. And then this foot, your um, right foot, if you're right-handed, has to stay on the ground at all times. And if you lift it, it's illegal. If you're left-handed, your left foot stays on the ground. You guys don't want to see me pitch left-handed, so. I'm sorry, it is a wiffle ball with tape, so it doesn't have the same momentum at all, and it goes 
crazy. And when you're here, it's called a K position. So like this, then you just bring it around. That's how you catch a shot. Alan has a question. Alan. Are you allowed to drag your right foot? Your right foot? Your right foot? Yeah, it has to stay on the ground. Yeah. Like that. You have to have one foot on the ground at all <laughs> times. Until you release. Then it has to remain in contact with the mount until you release the ball. Oh, um, and do you talk about the radius? Yeah, you got a 12 foot radius, or a 6 foot radius and a 12 foot circle around you. Mm -hmm. It's called a pitcher's mound. And so when you are doing the K and releasing, you can't step out of that circle, or else that ball. So if you guys can see this, this tape about right here is where my 6 foot radius would be. And I mean, if it was smaller, if you see how big a step is, it's already about six feet. And if you go in front of it, it's illegal because then it, it's a safety precaution because of how fast the ball is coming in at the batter. So that's why you have a circle. Ooh. How fast can you pitch? I can pitch 50 miles an hour. How good? I can run that's how fast, fast the car goes on the road. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> So, you know, to compare to everybody else. I know one girl that can pitch faster than me. She pitches 65. You know that girl that broke that How fast did she pitch? Jenny Finch. She was pitching 95 miles an hour. Yeah, she's crazy. 95. She's a U.S. Olympic gold medal pitcher. Yeah. So. A little out of our league. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you pitch top ball. Why do you have to show the ball to the young player? You have to present it in case you're like hiding something in your glove because a lot of girls like, okay, this is kind of gross, but I lick my fingers before I pitch and then I hold the ball. And you have to present it to show that you're not like in here like, I don't know, oh, so like oiling it or something. You have yeah. to present it, show it at your hips, and then you can bring it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we all try to pitch? Okay. Have that, Rachel. Oh, thanks. Can I put on the helmet? I'm just kidding. It's fine. I would. Hey, I don't pull your pants up. Hold on, hold on. Okay. And no. My turn. My turn. Oh, gosh. Hold on. This thing is like a really stupid idea. Small enough. It's like they don't. They won't. What am I doing? This isn't even. Are you pitching? Just I know. It's a weird. Oh, I have to teach that about the alley blog. I forgot to do it. Put it through your feeders. This doesn't. This doesn't work. Sure. Oh my god. Let's do it. Alan, do it like regular people. I'm a softball feed. Hey, punk. No, I'm, I'm doing the Are softball. Really now? <laughs> so you can uh, um, uh, oh, it's all right. test them on the because I'm doing what the instructions are like the drama. That's not what we said. You missed it. You, you can go back. <laughs> you have to go back first. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did screw up. Mark wants to go. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. So, <laughs> not a bit. <laughs> Was that it? No. Oh, yeah, I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it. I'm going to go like this. Yeah. I did. 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 Around the world or something like that? Yes. Mercury, Eater, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Okay, so like what Mark said, the, te hips. the technical term is this is to the sky and this is way to buy. Like yeah. the technical actual terms. Oh. <laughs> technical wave goodbye. How do you do this? Girls in their soft balls. They're not soft at all. Oh, yeah, exactly. They're not soft. How do I do it? That is Until you break pitch. an eye. Like this. I'm afraid I'm hitting my face. You can break an eye. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to like fling it over here. You can hit it over here. They won't feel it. No. How do I do this? I just do it? I do it like this. She hit both walls. I just do it. Yeah. Throw it. Do it. Start. No! It was perfect! I'm such a bully. We're pitching You are. Hey, Mark. Right. Hey, Mark. Nice to see you. Oh, oh, oh. Adelaide Vlog Hug. Don't hit anybody. You just know you're pitching. Actually, oh. well, it all happened uh, back in the 18th century.
when my grandpappy, my great grandpappy, made the first vlog. But it wasn't YouTube at the time. It was, uh, it was well, it was YouTube, but it was on a you could you had to watch it on a horse. Yes, old grandpappy used to vlog all his friends. And it passed down to my grandpa, and then to his, to my father, and now down to me. Now I vlog, and that's my story. Oh yeah. Diarrhea. Oh, diarrhea in a bag. Not the taste of a new generation. Louis Armstrong. And I think that I feel bad. Oh, you're doing it! Yeah.